For the last four and a half years, my husband and I have been building our very own off-grid shipping container home, and it is now officially done. It is made out of two high cube 40 foot shipping containers, is roughly 875 square feet, and has three bedrooms and two baths. And like I said, it's totally off grid. We have our own solar system that my husband Spencer built and our own rainwater catchment system. We catch all of our own rainwater off of the roof, but we'll show all that to you guys in a little bit. But without any further ado, welcome to our home. So the first thing that you'll see when you walk into our house are these photos that we just put up. I love that with building our own home, we documented the entire process, obviously. So <laughs> we have all of these pictures showing the progress. So we thought that would be a nice thing to have right here when you enter the home. The next thing that you'll notice are these upper windows that we have, which they allow so much more natural light to come into the house. And the house is obviously smaller, being 875 square feet, but it makes it feel so much bigger in here. Like, it, it does not feel like 875 square feet to me. Also up top, we have LED light stripping, and it's really fun. It does like all the different colors for the holidays, and I mean, we just have it on a, a colorful setting all the time and have like little dance parties at night. <laughs> So, the before kids bed. love it. What'd you say? Before bed. Yes, every night before bed we have a dance party. <laughs> And then the first room over to the right, this is our daughter's room. The kids' bedrooms are smaller, but I mean, they have everything that they need. There are no closets, but we did a captain's bed in her room, so it has all the different storage. And what's cool about this, it's also a desk for when she's older and a nightstand. And then we just keep a chair over here for right now, tucked away, boom desk bed <laughs> but yeah we went back and forth between a captain's bed and a loft bed and the reason why we decided on the captain's bed is just because it had all that storage included in it and you can just kind of hide everything away which was really nice because this literally has her clothes her shoes her toys it's like also her toy box where all her books are and it's just looks all nice and neat you know <laughs> And with the rooms being smaller, we wanted to make sure that we did bigger windows. And she by far has my favorite view, I think out of the entire house. She gets to see the pond and now it's not green anymore. <laughs> so that's nice. Hello, man's almost ready for a nap. Oh my God. And she's ready for a nap. <laughs> All right, pause. pause. <laughs> We're back. Okay, we need to be a little bit quieter now because our son's down for a nap, but. Also, being a smaller house, one thing that we did, all of the doors are pocket doors and they're supposed to be soft close, but our daughter has gone around and like forced a lot of them open, so maybe half of them are still soft close. <laughs> oh, the ones in our room. Right, yeah, the ones that she can't get to regularly. Yeah. But yeah, most of them are pocket doors and we do have a couple, or we have one barn door. So this is our kitchen. This is where I get my chef boy our spence on. <laughs> Cook all the food for the family. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I don't. This is uh, Kinsey's uh, little sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> but um, 
just a few things we wanted to point out. Uh, since it is a smaller house, we wanted a bigger sink. So we just went with the deepest and w most maximal space that we could get. The stove top, induction stove top, it's the reason why we went with an induction is just because they're the most efficient at cooking. Uh, they transfer the heat through the, the metal pans and tr it, it, it's just the most efficient thing. And the reason why that matters so much is just because we are on uh, solar power sol by solar power solely. <laughs> <laughs> because we're only on solar power. We only power our house <laughs> by solar power. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> like, I don't uh, making this sound weird. <laughs> and as far as this microwave, it looks a little high. It is, it's supposed to be a space saving and also uh, allow some more room for cooking. And the reason why we went with this microwave is because it just, it has the quietest vent fan. If we have to, we're cooking at night and there's a lot of smoke, it doesn't, it's not gonna be one of those. We've had some crazy microwave vents in the past. So, so loud. Yeah. And this picture right here behind me is actually this window being cut out. It's actually framed with this kitchen. And uh, this is back when we still had an exterior door before we even did the addition. Because Long that, time ago. Yeah. But yeah, it's just, it's pretty cool to see where we came from. And as far as storage in this kitchen goes, we, we maximized every square inch that we possibly could. So we went with the tallest cabinets on the walls. We didn't want any cabinets over here because it would just feel more closed in. But yeah, we, we maximized all our space as much as possible. These are just Ikea cabinets. The countertops are coarse countertops and they're just done by a local countertop place here in town. One of the last things with this kitchen is the pantry. We don't have a actual walk-in or even a closet for a pantry. One of the things we wish we did have when designing the house, but the island is now the pantry, which works out perfectly. It's just the only downfall to that is it's down low. And we also keep a lot of food up there. Yes, and in the bench. And we also have our laundry here in the kitchen. It's a love-hate relationship. It's, it does everything, it's very efficient. It's just, when it's on its spin cycle and it gets lopsided, it shakes and rattles against the cabinets. One thing I wish we could change also. Hey, it beats going to a laundromat. That is very true. And now this is the dining room, which I'm very happy that we have because originally the plan was for this to be the living room before we built the addition, which I just, I can't even imagine if our living room and TV was right here, <laughs> like next to the kids' rooms, because you'll see the living room. I mean, that's where we spend the majority of our time and can watch shows at night and all that. So I just, I don't know how we would do that. So yeah, even though we don't have a designated pantry and a lot of closet space, the only closet in the house is the one in the master bedroom that you'll see. But being that, we made sure to maximize as much storage space as we could. So down here, Spencer built this custom little bench. But yeah, that's where Spencer will store some of the random house tools so he's not having to walk back and forth to our container, but also any random extra canned food, stuff like that. So there's definitely more than enough storage. It's just not maybe in the normal way, like a, a standard pantry kind of thing, but right. it's more than enough. And we absolutely love this picture that we have up here. One of the things that we had always kind of envisioned design-wise for our house was to keep the base things like counter, floors, everything more uh, neutral and try to keep it as timeless as you could. And over time, change out other pieces like 
decor, pillows, pictures, all that kind of stuff as your taste changes over time. But we always like the idea of that being the more colorful components of the house. So when we found this of the mountains, we absolutely love this kind of stuff. Also in the dining room, we have this dresser. This is where we store all of that random stuff like photo albums, art stuff for the kids, games, all that kind of stuff. And obviously our books, which I was very excited to be able to display because that's one thing I really miss doing is I, I don't get to read that much anymore. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, some things that we really like over here. This up here is actually our first ever vlogging camera. The one that started it all and it's broken. That's why the lens is out like that. We dropped it. So we figured it'd be nice to display it here. And also we just threw some random photos up here for now. And this is by far my- But she's out of snacks. Oh my God. And this is by far my favorite one. It's back when we lived in the cargo trailer, but yeah, like just again, being that we've documented this entire process, I've made a point to take like little photo shoots randomly and yeah, it just <laughs> feels like a whole other lifetime ago. <laughs> <laughs> Then off the kitchen is the guest bathroom or the kids bathroom. It's pretty small, but it, it gets everything that you would need out of it. I mean, you got your tub, your pooper, and your sink. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it came out really good. Honestly, when we were designing the house, we knew it was going to be a little bit smaller and we knew we wanted two, two bathrooms because the original design was like, we could either do two bathrooms or do one large one and share with the kids. I'm like, no, we're gonna have our own. Two small ones. So we're like, we knew this was going to be the small, the smaller of the two bathrooms, and we thought we we're going to have to use like a, an RV sink and stuff like that. But no, we got all the normal full size things. It's just two steps. You got in this room. <laughs> so as far as storage in the shower, we don't have any uh, real lips to the tub with the exception of the south side lip. So we came up with this niche. We couldn't do it on this wall because there's spray foam insulation behind it. And we couldn't do it on the shower head wall because that's where all our plumbing is. So right here, there just happened to be a perfect 12 inch gap in between the framing of the uh, pocket door and the the wall right there and came out great nothing really to say about the tub other than the shower head is a low flow high sierra shower head uses a gallon and a half per minute flow and i got nothing but good things to say about it and as far as our toilet since we're on rainwater it's a low flow toilet uses 0.8 gallons per flush I mean, it works better than most, a lot of toilets I've had in the past, so it can uh, really suck some stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> then coming off the bathroom is our master, but one thing I wanted to point out about the master is the door. I took a cutout that we had just left over from cutting out the uh, shake container walls and made a door out of it came out really good. I still have some caulking and whatnot I want to do around this. And then we come into the master bedroom and the first thing that you'll notice is that the tall ceilings are in here again, which 
again makes this room feel so much bigger you will notice that it is a little bare in here right now and that's just because we haven't found the right art yet like we don't want to just buy something to buy something so eventually we would love to have a beautiful piece of art right here but we thought about a tv but there's no need yeah i don't really want a tv like we have one in the living room you got your phones it's just kind of pointless yeah. But yeah, for our bed, we went with a storage bed. It has a few drawers down there on both sides. We keep a ton of extra towels down there, bedding, and also like all of our winter coats, stuff like that that we don't really go to very often. But I mean, we really like it. We love the look of it. And then coming over to the closet. So Spencer built this entire custom cabinetry in here and we absolutely love the way it turned out you know for years all of our stuff was over in the barn and in the container in boxes so being able to actually hang up your stuff and like see what you have is very nice and spencer was adamant on having a his and her closet he wanted his own side i think he thought that i would like take over his space so instead of sharing with me he shares with a water heater. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a fixed amount of space. I know it won't ever expand. Yeah, it's more than enough room. And there really is a spot for everything in here. Like even down in the bottom here, we that's where we charge all of the batteries for our tools, our little vacuum, all that kind of stuff. So it's more than enough space. Like we haven't even filled it. And up top, we again have these huge baskets with a bunch of extra bedding, tons of storage. Another thing that I love about our bedroom is with these upper windows that we have, the reason why we designed the room this way with our bed over here is so at night, if the moon isn't out, you can see some of the stars and it's really pretty. Another thing that I wanna point out is that we did vinyl flooring throughout the house. And the reason why is because they are used shipping containers. So the floor is not perfectly level. So the vinyl kind of is able to go with it and make it as smooth as possible. And they're very durable, which is very nice living on a farm and having kids and being in and out of the house constantly. Spill resistant and all that. Yeah, there's been a few of those. <laughs> But another thing that you'll notice being in the master, our front door and the back door that is off of our bedroom, you can see obviously from one end to the other. And that was really important for us again to help make the house feel a little bit bigger. And it also lets in a ton of extra light. And then right off our master bedroom, we have the master bath. Again, it is smaller, but it feels very big because of these windows that we have here. Like, I absolutely love these windows. It lets in so much natural lighting, and it's really nice because, again, this view is very pretty, but also this is the west, so we get the sunsets in the evening, and that's usually when I get to shower, so it's a very pretty view. But yeah, not much is different in here from the kids' bathroom. It's all the more efficient, low flow stuff. But the only thing that I have to point out is this shower. Oh my gosh, like this was the first bit of tile you ever did, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you did this one before the kids? Yep. Being your first tile job, like this is a lot of tile, okay? This is a larger than average shower also and it, it took a long time and we got really sick <laughs> right after we had started it so it was quite the process but it looks beautiful thank you also the vanity is the same as the kids yeah uh, literally everything's the same and then when he was saying on the other side that like the plumbing's in the wall because the bathrooms are you know right back to back we thought doing that would make it the most simple for plumbing being that we had never done plumbing before but <laughs> And it, I mean, it all turned out well, but it, it was a very small space to fit a lot in. Yep. That's what she said. <laughs> 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 
All right, so we're going to have to go back to our son's room in a little bit and we'll do the living room in a little bit as well. So you wanna have it outside? Sure. So we are 100% on rainwater. We don't have a well or anything like that. We capture all our water from the roof of our house and that roof is guttered to uh, two, two points. This is a leaf eater which overflows and gravity feeds into our rainwater tanks. The leaf eater just filters out any debris and this little chamber right here is where you catch most of your sediment also, so your sand and your dirt and your things like that. And as far as rainwater catchment, our tanks, we have three 2,500 gallon tanks, so 7,500 gallons in total, which we do need to upgrade. This past year we were in a really bad drought, so We've had a haul in water a couple of times just because it's been so dry. And this thing right here where anybody that has come here that isn't familiar with our place always wonders what this is. This is a batch water heater, also known as a solar water heater. It's just a water heater tank that has been flipped on its side and replumbed to capture as much sun rays as possible. That's the whole goal behind it. And to preheat the water heater inside. Now this is a 55 gallon water heater and inside is, I wanna say it's like 40 gallon. This does most of our water heating. Unless it's overcast or really cold, the inside one doesn't really do too much. It just kinda of tops it off, especially in the summer months. Summer months it's like, it gets hotter than that water heater inside. It's funny because it's in the shade right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is our outhouse, <laughs> also known as our pump house. I don't know. I just thought the, the little moon was cool. Where we have all our water filtration, our pump, and all that. And normally there's a living roof up there, except right now it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the universe is just working against this here. Yeah. You will not film this tour. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, mama. Next to me is our solar array. This has been a big learning experience, to say the least, from uh, at least from the initial start to what we have now. It's a little different now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we, we upgraded to more efficient panels and also I built this uh, adjustable array. And it's only adjustable for the season so you can tilt. Uh, it doesn't track the sun or anything like that but just the seasonal adjust greatly helps. As far as the solar uh, system or the solar... <laughs> as far as the universe is concerned. <laughs> Uh, as far as the rest of the uh, solar, I guess, system, right? Oh my god, yes, it's a solar system. Okay. Solar system can refer to more than just the universe. <laughs> god. It just sounds weird. We do use uh, recycled electric car batteries, which they've been great up until the recent year or so, last year or so. I mean, living in the house, you're going to consume more energy. And also, uh, since they were used, their life cycle has been diminished quite a bit. And we've put them through the ringer, not only because of during the winter, heating the place it uses quite a bit of energy, but also when we had that polar vortex, lithium ion batteries don't really like to be in negative temperatures. So, I mean, between, the extreme heat and extreme cold. They've just kind of been through all the, the scenario. Boys! As far as battery storage, we have, it should be 21 kilowatts, but that's also calculating off of the, if they were brand new. We're probably in the 15 to 18 kilowatt storage range. AKA not enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would want at least double that, if not triple that, if I were to kind of do that again. And we will eventually upgrade to that, but that's for another day. Not right now, not right now. 
right now. Waves. Book. Book. Waves. <laughs> All right, so now we're into Cam's room. Cam's room is pretty similar to Bo's. It's just a foot shorter in total length. He's still sleeping in his pack and play. We didn't, we didn't want to buy a crib for something that he's going to be in for such a short amount of time. So we just kind of stuck with the pack and play and it, I mean, it worked out for Bo and it's working out for him. What we're going to do as far as his furniture is uh, captain's beds similar to Bo's. So that'll be his sleeping and all his clothes storage and all, all of that. So all of this will go once he's ready for the captain's bed. He now has my childhood rocking horse. I'm surprised it's made it this long because it, it went through me, went through my sisters, and now on to my kids. So obviously it's, uh, it's not totally finished. We didn't want to just buy stuff to buy stuff. But uh, I mean, we did start with, with some stuff like this deep field photo of the, from the Hubble telescope. Just an amazing photo. And uh, glow in the dark stars on the roof, which I feel are essential for every kid's bedroom. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple. I'm just glad both the kids have their own space. Oh yeah. Yeah, it would have been tough growing up and sharing a bedroom and us, especially these size bedrooms, if they had to share like Bo's room. Oh, right. That would have been tough. is the living room slash office slash guest room. This is the room that was the addition. It was never intended on the house and I don't know what we would have done without it, honestly. Like. <laughs> it has many functions. Don't break my necklace. <laughs> it has so many uses. I, I literally don't know what we would do without it. Like this is where Spencer and I will eat dinner late at night or work on videos. Like I can't imagine if this was right next to the kids' rooms just because this is a small house and they are light sleepers. So that's been interesting. Especially that one right there. Cam. <laughs> so, um. <laughs> So yeah, this is my little workstation over here. You can see our plaques on the wall. They are very special to us. So I love getting to have them right there as I'm working. And then this couch, with it being the guest room, it actually can transform into a bed and it has a memory foam mattress. And I really like that this is the guest space because they also have access to the outside right from here and they're right next to the bathroom. And then this is the barn door that can close off. So they have a nice, separate space from the madness. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, this is probably my favorite room in the house. Is it yours? Yeah. Like, it's so bright, and just because there's so many windows. Mm-hmm. I love it. And I do love the exposed container wall. Yes. Another really cool feature about this room is the exposed container wall that we have here. And the color is obviously the same color as outside, so it looks like the container just continues from the outside in because it does, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, and our telescope here. We don't do this enough. We love getting to go out and stargaze and look for the planets and everything. Yeah, the stars here are just beautiful. Mama, are you gonna be an astronaut? Or an astronomer? Mama! Mama! Good Mama. <laughs> So I think that was everything. I really have no clue. I know. I, I sure hope so, but Hopefully when we put all this together, it's, uh, it kind of makes sense. Like I know that was all over the place. That literally took all day. It, it, I know it doesn't seem like that because it's compressed down to however long this ends up being, but that was a, a journey. <laughs> yeah. Sun started, we started filming when the sun was way over there. <laughs> oh, it's way over there. 
But yeah, all in all, we are very happy with the way our house turned out. Like, I absolutely love it. I do too. There's definitely some things that we would change and would do differently, but I love the layout and just for never having designed a house before, it just it turned out incredibly well. Yeah, I'm very, very surprised <laughs> and very happy with how it turned out. Just, it exceeded all expectations. Hopefully uh, you got a good, uh, good glimpse of what the finished house looks like and uh, can't wait to start something new. Me too. Till next time. The main reason why we went with this uh, microwave is because it has the most efficient vent fan, not most efficient, it has the most quiet, most quiet. <laughs> Just, it's pretty cool to see where we came from or where it started, where we started. <laughs> God. Uh, <laughs> As soon as you, as soon as you like start stumbling on words, it just, it's all downhill from there. Mm -hmm. It's just, you, I can't flow right now. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so moving on with the uh, kitchen. We maxed my... <laughs> God, we're gonna have to redo this entire video.